Hello friends, welcome to this video session. The topic that we are going to cover in this session is Mendeleev's Periodic Table. Let us start with the story of a Russian scientist, Mendeleev. While he was working on the classification of elements, he found that the elements with similar properties occur at regular intervals. Based on this observation, Mendeleev gave a periodic law in 1869. How did he come to this periodic law? Among chemical properties, Mendeleev concentrated on the compounds formed by elements with oxygen and hydrogen. He selected hydrogen and oxygen as they are very reactive and formed compounds with most elements. The formulae of the hydrides and oxides formed by an element were treated as one of the basic properties of an element for its classification. He then took 63 cards and on each card he wrote down the properties of one element. He sorted out the elements with similar properties and pinned the cards together on a wall. He observed that most of the elements got a place in a periodic table and were arranged in the order of their increasing atomic masses. It was also observed that there occurs a periodic recurrence of elements with similar physical and chemical properties. Therefore, he stated his periodic law. According to Mendeleev's periodic law, the properties of the elements are the periodic function of their atomic masses. Mendeleev's periodic table contains vertical columns called groups and horizontal rows called periods. There were six periods, horizontal rows, and eight groups, vertical columns, in the original periodic table of Mendeleev. Out of eight groups, first seven groups are of normal elements and eighth group is of transition elements. Noble gases were not known at that time. So there was no group of noble gases in Mendeleev's original periodic table. The elements in each group of periodic table are similar to one another in many properties. The similar properties of the elements are repeated periodically. We will now describe two main features of this type of classification. One, elements are arranged in increasing order of their atomic masses. Two, groups of elements have similar properties. We will now discuss the merits of Mendeleev's periodic table. It predicted the existence of some elements that had not been discovered at that time. Mendeleev left some gaps in his periodic table. Instead of looking upon these gaps as defects, Mendeleev boldly predicted the existence of some elements that had not been discovered at that time. Mendeleev named them by prefixing a Sanskrit numeral, Eka, one, to the name of preceding element in the same group. For instance, Scandium, Gallium and Germanium discovered later have properties similar to Eka Boron, Eka Aluminium and Eka Silicon respectively. The properties of Eka Aluminium predicted by Mendeleev and those of the element Gallium which was discovered later and replaced Eka Aluminium. This table provided convincing evidence for both the correctness and usefulness of Mendeleev's periodic table. Further, 
It was the extraordinary success of Mendeley's prediction that led chemists not only to accept his periodic table, but also recognize him as the originator of the concept on which it is based. Noble gases like helium, He, neon, Ne, and argon, Ar, have been mentioned in many a context before this. These gases were discovered very late because they are very inert and present in extremely low concentrations in our atmosphere. One of the strengths of Mendeleev's periodic table was that when these gases were discovered, they could be placed in a new group without disturbing the existing order. Let us now discuss the limitations of Mendeleev's classification. Electronic configuration of hydrogen resembles that of alkali metals. Like alkali metals, hydrogen combines with halogens, oxygen and sulfur to form compounds having similar formulae as shown in the examples here. On the other hand, just like halogens, hydrogen also exists as diatomic molecules and it combines with metals and non-metals to form covalent compounds. No fixed position can be given to hydrogen in the periodic table. This was the first limitation of Mendeleev's periodic table. He could not assign a correct position to hydrogen in his table. Isotopes were discovered long after Mendeleev had proposed his periodic classification of elements. Let us recall that isotopes of an element have similar chemical properties but different atomic masses. Thus, isotopes of all elements posed a challenge to Mendeleev's periodic law. Another problem was that the atomic masses do not increase in a regular manner in going from one element to the next. So it was not possible to predict how many elements could be discovered between two elements, especially when we consider the heavier elements. So friends, in this video, we studied about Mendeleev's periodic table. In the next video, we will learn about the modern periodic table.